Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn off the filter on a form, but stay on that record. I've been asked this question a couple times over the years by a few different people. And let's say you've got a list form and you open up one customer from that list. It opens it up with a filter and a wear condition. And you can see you got one of one here, but what if you want to turn off that filter but stay on Deanna Troy's record? If I turn the filter off, it goes back to the beginning of the record set, which is record one, which is me. All right? I open up Jean-Luc, and I turn off the filter, and it goes back to me again. So what if you want a button here that turns the filter off so you can still scroll through people, okay, but stay on the current record? And that's handy, for example, let's say you want to come over here and manually put a filter on. Let's say I want to filter for the people in Florida, right? Right click equals Florida. All right, now I got me and there's Deanna. But what if I want to turn the filter off and still stay on that record? All right, same problem. I'm back to one of six now. So we can do this with a couple of lines of VB code. Now, if you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this video first. I'll put a link down below in the links section in the description below the video. I got a nice little intro to VBA video that'll teach you the basics. VBA isn't scary, anyone can learn it, and you really take Microsoft Access to the next level if you learn just a little bit of VBA. So go watch this first, then come back. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, let's open up the customer form here and go to Design View. And I'm going to put a button right about there. I'm going to copy one of these existing buttons, right? Copy, paste, there we go, Control-C, Control-V. I'll put a button right there, and we'll call this Turn Off Filter, comma, Stay. All right, and now let's right click and go to build event right there. All right, the key here is that we're gonna turn off the filter and the command for that is me.filter on equals false. All right, that turns the filter off. The filter on property tells you whether the filter is on or off and you set that to true or false. But before we do that, we have to remember what customer we're on. So we're gonna take the customer ID and store that in a variable, right? So dim ID as long, any ID, whatever field you want. If it's orders, you use order ID. If it's products, you can use product ID. All right, we're gonna say ID equals customer ID. Customer ID is a field on the customer form. So we're gonna say our ID value is equal to that customer ID field on the form. Now we've turned the filter off. So we got all the records back on the form. Now we just have to find that record, but to find something, you gotta be on that field. So do command dot go to control what field customer ID. All right, so now the focus is sitting on the customer ID. That's if, like if we took our mouse and clicked on customer ID or we tabbed over to it, all right? So the, the blinking cursor is sitting on customer ID. Now we just say do command dot find record ID. And we don't need all the rest of those options are optional. We don't need any of them. That's all we need. Declare a variable, right? Set the ID equal to whatever the current customer ID is. Turn the filter off. Go to the customer ID field and do the search. All right, save it. Close it. I'm going to close this form. And let's open up Malcolm Reynolds. And then turn the filter off. All right. As you can see, it happened real fast there. Turn the filter off. We went back to record one, but then we issued the find command. Find will stay on that same set of records but just move through the records until it finds that id okay try it again close this go to deanna turn the filter off that jumps right back to us see this database by the way is my tech help free template it's a free download off my website you can go grab a copy if you want to now if you like this lesson and you enjoy programming in vba go check out my full microsoft access developer level one course there's a link right there i'll also put it down below in the link section below the video, I cover this and lots more stuff. I got a whole series of developer lessons. I got dozens of them. I think I'm up to 35 now. So there's lots and lots of developer stuff on my website if you want to learn more programming in Microsoft Access. So thanks for watching this fast tip brought to you by accesslearningzone.com. Again, my name is Richard Rost, and we'll see you again next time.